Hi, I'm Vivek, the power system engineer who just gave you a presentation on testing an arc quencher system. Uh, here, there's a light, here there's a setup of the arc quencher system and I thought a video demonstration would help the viewers understand it a little better. Uh, we have the entire setup here including the arc tech devices such as the arc quencher AQ1000, the arc flash protection relay AQ110, and a point light sensor which is used to detect flash or light in this case. Um, let me start explaining the arc quencher system. The setup we have here, uh, this is the AQ1000, this is the point light sensor, this is, this is what we're going to use to detect the flash, um, this is the AQ110 arc flash protection relay, it's pretty much the brain of the arc quencher system. It detects the light and current and sends a trip signal to the AQ1000 and all of this takes place under 5 milliseconds. Um, we are using the Panolo test kit to inject current into this and we're using a, a sun pack flash to, uh, to demonstrate an arc flash. So when we run the, when we run the state sequence I've set up here, um, it's going to inject current into this relay and this is going to flash and it's going to send a trip signal and the quencher is going to go off. Uh, we have used an oscilloscope here to measure time. Uh, the, we've used two probes. Probe one is uh, put across the flash. It just shows you when the flash is triggered and probe 2 is uh, put across the, the voltage. We have induced the voltage on one of the phases on the quencher. Uh, how we have done that is, let me show you the back of the quencher. Uh, this is how it's mounted on the bus bars, the three phases, and in this setup right here, to demonstrate an actual you know, collapsing of the voltage, we have induced voltage on one of the phases, and when the quencher trips, we can see the voltage collapsing and measure the time in the oscilloscope. So um, I've set up a state sequence on my Panovo test software. It's, it's a test kit like any other, like the Micron or the Doble. Um, this is the current injection to the 110 relay. Uh, this is triggering the flash, and this is for the, um, for the voltage you know, put across the back of the puncher. So well, what, what's going to happen here is when I run the state sequence, the Panovo test kit is going to inject current into the arc flash protection relay. And at the same time, the flash is going to be triggered. So when there's a light plus current input, the AQ110 relay is going to trip and send a trip signal to the quencher and the quencher is going to go off. And all of this is going to happen under five milliseconds and we can verify here with the oscilloscope. So let us go ahead and run the test. So that was the quencher going off. Um, we can we can measure the time here using this oscilloscope to make sure if it was under five milliseconds. So as you see here, the yellow probe is for the flash, so it triggered at that particular that particular second. And this was the blue line is the is the voltage. So there was five volt five volts of voltage across one of the phases. So when the flash is triggered, it took almost three boxes for the voltage to drop to zero, and each box is. The, the scale is each box is one millisecond. So according to this, it, the quencher went off in less than three milliseconds. So as we saw, the, we could measure the time on an oscilloscope and confirm that it was under three milliseconds. Um, the tester, the Panovo test kit, also measures the time, but it includes a latency time and it might not be accurate and might not be under less than five milliseconds. In this case, it was uh, close to seven milliseconds but that includes the latency time and that's not the, that's not the exact time the quencher takes to quench. That is why they've used an oscilloscope to verify that it quenches under you know, five milliseconds. Uh, one other thing about the Arctec AQ1000 device is it's, a, it's, an only, it's the only resettable arc quencher device in the market and an arc quencher AQ1000 trips up to four times under load. Uh, but there is no way of knowing, uh, there's no way the AQ1000 detects that you're testing it. So um, our tech has built in a commissioning mode, which helps us, uh, which, which is used while testing. So the AQ1000 knows it's not under load and it's not in, not, not in use, so it bypasses the trip count. So that was a demonstration of how to time test an arc quencher and that's how we do here at Tech4. Um, we, we don't really need to use an oscilloscope since our tech ensures us that you know quenches under five milliseconds. It's just to be um, extra sure that make sure that verify the time uh, the quencher goes off is under five milliseconds. 
Um, thank you for viewing this video. If you have any more questions, please contact any one of us at Tech4. Um, thank you.